kids, it's me, Time Traveling Thomas. And it's me, Carl! I see you got your cool shades on still, Carl. It makes me feel like a jazz singer. Or a jazz singer. <laughs> All right, today we're going to use our time machine again to go back to the beginning of everything. In fact, today we're going to go back to the third day of creation. I like creation. Ooh, the sky's are blue. <laughs> All right, are you guys ready to go back in time in our time machine? Yeah! Ooh, all right, let's go. Hold Reactor on tight. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons ah! online. Don't want my glasses to fall off my head. Man, time travel kind of wears a man out. Oh, yeah. Can I tell you something? Yeah. I like swimming. Yeah, I, I like swimming too. So on the third day of creation, God said, let there be water under the sky to be put in one place and let dry land appear. Dry land? Well, here it comes. So God called the dry ground land and gathered waters around. He called the seas and God saw that it was good. And God said that the land produced vegetation, seed bearing plants and trees on the land that would bear fruit with seed in it, according to the various kinds. Man, I am so glad that God created dry ground because I don't think I could swim for like five more minutes. <laughs> Me too, Carl. Me too. So, so God created plants, trees, fruit trees, and God saw that it was good. And there was evening, and there was morning. That was the third day. I got a question. Yeah. On the third day, did God create coconut plants? Yeah. Every kind of fruit plant in existence. What about Pineapple trees. Definitely. Whoa. Yeah. How about avocados? Avocados? Yeah, it's kind of like an avocado meets a potato. I don't know about that, Carl. You're getting silly. All right, kids, let's go back to class. This has been amazing. But first, let's do our declaration. 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 Declare. Declare. OK, kids. Repeat after me. In all of outer space. In all of outer space. God has created the perfect place. God has created the perfect place. For me to live and grow. For me to live and grow. And know my creator God. And God my creator know. <laughs> wait, wait, I messed that part up. Oh, it's okay, Carl. Amen. Okay, children, let's go to the writer of Genesis, Mr. Moses, because he wants to bless you before you go back to your class. Okay, here we go to you, Mr. Moses, man. Now I want to bless you. So hold out your hands in front of you and close your eyes. Here we go. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he shine his face face upon you. May he be gracious to you and turn his face towards you and give you peace. Shalom.